Hello, this is Mama Says, and it's my wedding anniversary. And I'm wearing my veil to remind myself to always be young, beautiful, innocent, and virginal. Well, some of those things aren't working, but I'm still fitting my wedding veils. I could fit in my wedding gown, too, if I wanted to. But, you know, you got to unwrap it and take it out of the box. And, oh, well, let's forget about that. But people have asked me what it takes to have a long marriage when you want to stay with that same person, same face, same body every day until death do you part. And I'm here to tell you a few things that have helped me make it so far. First, have separate bedrooms. Okay, if that doesn't work for you, bunk beds. Well, if that doesn't work for you, have him sleep on an air mattress. No, seriously. First off, if he's snoring, go get himself that sleep apnea test and make him get that sleeping machine because, oh, having, having relations with Diva Dan is so exciting after so many years of marriage. Just make sure he keeps that breathing mask on unless you raise the insurance. The next thing is bathrooms. Separate bathrooms in separate houses at separate times. But if you have to share, you know, make sure you have your time limit and then scrub it after he uses it. But I've decided that he has his own bathroom with his kitty cat. And he's responsible for him and his kitty cat and everything else strange they do in there. That's the way to keep the romance exciting. Conversation. When you finish making dinner and you're sitting looking at each other on the table and you're wondering what to say to each other, get the newspaper out and go from page one to page 30 or whatever the pages are and discuss each and every article. It gives you something to talk about. He'll enjoy it. As for television watching together on the couch, that doesn't work after a few years, you know? Because he might watch those murder things and that, those serial things and it might scare you a little. So I'll decide that men should watch their sports and their murder and their stupid little reality shows. And women stick to Lifetime and Discovery Channel and Animal Planet. You do much better. And get yourself a good group of friends to hang out with. Because it gets boring looking at each other day after day after day. Even though the romance may be there day after day. You start not speaking because you know each other's thoughts. So get yourself a good group of friends to hang out with. So to break up the little monotony in the marriage. Because monotony happens after the lust ends. There's so many things you could do to improve your marriage. Get yourself some hobbies. Not together necessarily. But if you do, make sure it's something you could do separately at different desk. Because working together, sometimes it just doesn't work. Because as they say, men come from Mars, women come from Venus. And when the two aliens stick together and they have these different sized fingers, you know, some of the things don't work together. Oh, and just remember, before you get married, you know that your children will carry the traits of the person you're with. So make sure you decide to want to have children by that person because those traits will come back at you and those little rugrats look at you looking for some. but the important thing about celebrating a wedding anniversary is to remember the good memories flush away those bad ones because you can't go on with those bad ones because they'll eat at you and eat your gut next thing you know you're out there looking for Tom, Dick and Harry a Sally Sue and slut oh excuse me so it's important to keep the romance. Look at each other and try to remember your wedding day. Look at that wedding album. Look at the pictures when you look so much younger and so much sexier. And think one day it'll never come back. You'll just have to love each other those fat folds. But get out there, exercise together. You bike, he walks. You walk, he bikes. Did I say that? Do something together that will extend your life. And make sure you get that life insurance because as you get older, you know that eventually something's going to happen to one of your parts. I know. But you know, it's just to protect the other person. If you go so that they can have a happily ever afterlife, you know, 
You don't want him to be all sad and droopy, staying home alone while you're cold and buried. I'll remember you. So happy anniversary to my and I married. And I hope we have many, 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 many happier more moments together. Bye. Enjoy your romance.